Happy art class! This is Mrs. Deanna from Octac. It's nice to be here with you once again. We are actually going to be starting a new series of art lessons based on our master Fabio Martinez, aka Girat, that's C U R I O T, born in Mexico, Mochuecan. He went to school in California and moved back to Mexico in his 20s. He started drawing in his adolescence. Girat was strongly influenced by his culture and aesthetics. From Aztec prints, which I'll show you here, to sugar skulls, which I will show you. He synchronizes his murals with lively energy of Mexican, Mexican folklore. So he was a very beautiful, talented artist, and he loved focusing on his culture. I will show you a few more of his artworks now. Something powerful and energetic brought him back to Mexico after life in the United States. He wanted to explore the symbols and legend, legends to create his own world of mythical, half-human, half half-animal creatures also known as Alebrijes. So I will be talking a lot more about Fabio this time around and also a lot more about mythical creatures as well as Alebrijes. Alebrijes were first known to come from Mexico and we will go into depth with that as long as of course our elements of art and our principles of design. So our first project we're going to do is we're going to start brainstorming on some beautiful mythical creatures or you can go ahead and start practicing drawing some beautiful alebrijes. I will show you a, a few picture of alebrijes here. Some are made of paper mache and if and then Fabio painted his alebrijes so his were either murals or paintings. So we're gonna need for today, you're gonna need a pencil, an eraser, a sharpener handy, and a pen, possibly if some of you like to draw in pen, if you prefer pen than pencil, I like to start off with pencil, and then I usually move on to pen, and then a sketch pad or art journal so that we can sketch out some of our imaginary creatures or, our, or alebrijes of your choosing. Okay, so we're just gonna ask some questions and get to know some different mythical creatures from around the world and talk a little bit more about them and in depth. And then we'll move on to our next lesson too. But for this video, all you need is your notepad, a sketch pad, art journal, or a piece of paper, pencil, and if you prefer to draw a pen, a pen nearby. Okay, let's get started. Let's have some fun exploring mythical creatures. Okay class, now that you have your supplies ready, let's go ahead and talk about some mythological creatures and then we will go ahead and use our imagination to create our own creatures. So of course some of us can think about what are mythological creatures? Well, mythological creatures are animals, right, that are created by somebody's imagination once upon a time. And they started long, long ago. Some of the first mythological creatures and some of the ones that we will be discussing will be two from two different cultures. So the first one is a unicorn from the South Netherlands, which I will show you a picture here of their unicorn. So this is an image that is from a long time ago of a unicorn. So unicorns were not popular just now. They are very, very, very old mythological creatures. And then there's other ones from Korea, for example. And they have the dragon. Okay, so some facts about the unicorn it's legendary it's a legendary animal that looks like a horse or a goat with a single horn on its forehead 
Unicorns are thought to be good and pure creatures with magical powers. They are strong and often white in color and difficult to catch. The unicorn appears in the art of ancient Mesopotamia. And some facts about the dragon are, the dragon is a legendary creature belonging to the world of mythology, storytelling, and fantasy. There are stories about dragons in Chinese culture, European culture, South American culture, and many others. Dragons can look like dinosaurs and other extinct animals. Because of that, it is easy to think that those animals might have been an example for dragons and dragons here now. So let's think about that. Let's define mythological and let's define creature. So mythological, the definition is relating to based on or appearing in myths or mythology. So it is a fairy tale. It's legendary, right? A fable. And creature is an animal as distinct from a human being. And these mythological creatures and our imaginary creatures are much like alebrijes. And that's why alebrijes, mythical creatures, all connects to our master Fabio Martinez because he loved his culture and he focused on these alebrijes. Now, I just wanted you guys to brainstorm and see different mythical creatures and imaginary creatures from around the world. Now let's go back to Mexico, where Fabio Martinez was born. And let's talk about the alebrijes and how they first started. So alebrijes, I'm gonna show you a picture here, are brightly colored Mexican folk art sculptures of fantasy or mythical creatures. The first alebrijes, along with the use of the term, originated with Pedro Nunieres in the 1930s. Nunieres fell very ill, and while he was in bed, they say with a high fever, he was unconscious. Linares, Linares dreamt of a strange place resembling a forest. There he saw trees, animals, rocks, clouds that suddenly turned into something strange, some kind of animals, but unknown animals. He saw a donkey with butterfly wings, a rooster with bull horns, a lion with an eagle head, and all of them were shouting one word, alebrijes. Upon recovery, he began recreating the creatures he saw in the cardboard, he saw in cardboard and paper mache, and called them alebrijes. So this is in the 1930s. When he fell ill is when he imagined these creatures that did not exist. And he heard the name Alebrijes. So this is the, where the, our, this story originates from in Mexico. So for today, I want us to go ahead and start to draw and fantasize and imagine our own mythological creature or Alebrije and what that would look like and what magical powers would that animal have. So to do this, we have to think, well, what did we, what do we want to start drawing? Think of the, all the beautiful animals I just showed you. You can mix one up if you like. You can mix a unicorn with a dragon or a lion with a unicorn, anything you will like. So you can follow along with me 
to see us start to sketch out these animals and let and cut and then from there try to twist it to make it your own so change it up or change it completely and then i also want us to write about what magical powers our mythical creature would have so let's go ahead and start to brainstorm so for me i'm thinking i would like to do a strong animal with possible wings Okay, so I'm thinking for my face, I would want to do a lion. Lions are strong, and lions to me represent bravery and strength. So I'm going to go ahead, and my lion is going to be sideways, so he's going to be facing this way. So I'm going to go ahead with my pencil, I'm going to go ahead and draw my profile of my lion. Very simple drawing. We don't want to do anything too complex, right? Let me zoom up on that. Okay, so here's my face. Right there of my line. And then I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna do my nose. Remember, this is side profile, so we can't see the whole line. I'm gonna do a slanted eye right here. A little closer so you can see. And I'm gonna go ahead and do the mouth. And I'm gonna go ahead and draw some holes for the whiskers. And I'm gonna go ahead and color most of this eye in with my pencil, leave a little bit of light for my eye. Same thing with my nose. I'm gonna color in my nose, leave a little shiny spot for my nose. This is going to be the side profile for my lion. Now my line is going to have amazing fierce hair and I want it to swirl. So I'm going to do, go ahead. It's mythological, right? So I don't have to have it be realistic. It could be fun. And if you choose to go ahead and color this in at the end, you can do bright, vivid, beautiful colors. Or of course, if that's not your thing, you can go ahead and do dark colors, any colors you'd like, any colors that make you happy and want to express yourself. I'm going to do big swirls for my beautiful lion's mane. Now, I press, I'm pressing very hard so that it could pick up on the camera, but sketching is always good. Sketching is light, just like this, just so you can see where you would want to go ahead and draw your image. And then you can trace it later with your pencil a little harder or go back with pen. So I'm going to do just some more. Let's do one more back here. I'm going to do it just halfway. There we go. There's my lion's mane. And now I am, my zodiac sign is a Pisces, which means I was born in between February 19th to, I believe, March... 18th or 19th I could be wrong sorry but I am a Pisces which means I have water right two fishes so I want to go ahead and add some type of fish to my mythological creature now you can be drawing your own creature right now you could have paused the video brainstorm seeing something that you want to come up with maybe you want a tamer animal something more gentle or something more even stronger like an elephant it's completely up to you so i'm gonna go ahead and draw my body so i want my like a lion's have tails but i'm thinking instead of just a lion's tail i could do like a mermaid's tail or a vicious tail so i'm gonna go ahead 
and draw the back of my line here swoop down curve around to have my tail and then we just come right back around and my body is going to start right here and my legs are going to begin to go down here now this line it's a little bit fuzzy to me maybe even this tail a bit so let me change it up now we're just exploring our mythical creatures our alebrijes okay so that way we can get familiar with them as more or less our more of our lessons continue to spark our imagination here's my tail and get those imaginary juices flowing right so before i want scales but before i do the scales on my fish i really want to go in and do my legs so i'm going to go ahead and do do the legs of my lion one two and three going up and then my leg in the back Oh, let me fix that up. Okay. Now my animal is very cartoonish looking. If you want yours to look more realistic, it can. You like the cartoon? That's perfectly fine too. It's up to you. So now I'm going to go ahead and continue the body right here. Going across. Now my front leg is going to be showing here. I'm going to come back down around. A curved line for my back foot. I'm going to go in with one, two. Let's close it off. And my third, I'm going to have picking in the back right here. Now I need my fourth foot, so I'm going to go ahead and do it back here. Curving just like so, just like the other one. Going in. There we go. Now my feet look a little funky. But that's okay. I tried my best, and this is the best I can do today. And my best is just enough. And I'm going to jazz it up with some color. I do want them to be around the same size. So I think our back legs should be a little bit thicker than our front leg. So with this front leg, I'm actually going to go in just a little bit more. Then go ahead and connect it. And then I'm going to go ahead and erase this little edge. There we go. Our librije. My lion fish. And then I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to add some fun patterns. You can add whichever patterns you want to, you would like. Yeah. I feel like this leg is a little bit off. I'm going to fix it up. Even as teachers, we have our days where we draw better than others. But our best is enough. And that's okay. Now if I were to choose to color that in, I would do that very bright colors. For me. I can picture them being really bright. Then I'm going to go in with my scales for my body, and then I'm just going to start to overlap. So I'll start, get these with scales, 
it's almost it's definitely a pattern so go around and around like a U one in the center around around one in the center and you just keep going around connect around connect one in the center curve line down curve line down one in the center curve line down curve line down one in the center curve line down curve line down one in the center curve line down curve line down one in the center and you're gonna just keep going and then when we get to the body then we're gonna be able to add more curves right so one two oh still enough but we're gonna add an extra little curve one two three so two two curves in the middle one two and three and curve and curve and just keep going over and over again you can do them the same size too you don't have to have the little small ones you can just keep doing big ones just like this but try to keep that pattern that consistency going with your pattern oh mine got smaller again I liked my arches and then my little ones inside. So my whole entire body is going to be the fish. My head, my feet are going to be of a lion and my tail of a fish. I'm going to give it some nice lines in my fin. And there I have my lion fish alebrije. Very simple to do, but remember again, I'm just brainstorming. These are sketches. These are, I'm putting them in my art journal. It's not a final piece. I'm just sketching out what would be my mythical creature. And you can change it up. You can draw a few different ones. I'm gonna draw another piece of the main right here. There we go. You can change it up. You can create your own. It's adding two. You at least want to add two different parts of an animal. So maybe the head of a giraffe and the body of a fish or the body of a fish and the head of a rat. So you just want to change it up. So at least two different animals. By all means, you could do three. You can go ahead and have it be three animals. That is perfectly okay too. So I would then color this in bright, beautiful colors, just like our alebrijes. But first, I want us to brainstorm. If this was your myth mythical creature, your alebrije, what would its powers be? So for me, right let's write it down it would be strength strength let's write these words around our alebrijes and you come up with your own for your beautiful alebrijes it doesn't have to be the same as mine mine would be strength it would be brave it would be fast I feel like fish can be very healing. So I'm gonna say it would be able to heal. Heal either, heal those from feeling sad or feeling sick. What else? It would have the strength to 
you can come up with to all these different beautiful ideas. Let's see. Maya would have the strength to swim long distances. So it would be able to swim for miles. So I'm going to put swim for miles and days on end. Maybe it had to heal somebody from across the world. It would be able to swim there fast to heal and during through all the sharks it would be have strength and bravery throughout the oceans it would be able to protect itself it would also be a great protector so i want you guys to go ahead and brainstorm on yours what would be its strength what would be its magical powers what would your animals be able to do and at least mix two and don't forget this is just our first lesson we're getting to know alebrijes and mythical creatures our lessons are going to be based on fabio martinez and these elements we're going to be practicing how to draw we're going to do some masks it's going to be a lot of fun so stay tuned for that and also please 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 practice drawing different mythical alebrijes and creatures and if you want to share those you can at our email octac online at gmail.com or you can hashtag that way I could see your guys' amazing creatures I want to see all of them so stay focused on this and do some research come up with different ideas I got some help too I did some research too there's so many beautiful alebrije ideas out there I will go ahead and post a few I, few more ideas after this. So you guys can, just in case you don't quite want to do mine, you can come up with your own. And you can mix them. If you see something you like from one photo, grab that. Like say you like the wings on this alebrije. But you like the unicorn from this mythical creature. Well, combine the two of them and come up with your own. That would be amazing. Well, I really hope you like this introduction video to Fabio Martinez and our mythical creatures and to have a fun, exciting time with me. And please do not forget to stop practicing art. Get your sketchbooks. Sketch out anything you would like. It's so good to release our feelings on paper. So keep, keep up the good work. Keep up all your strength and your bravery and heal through this time. So with healing, let's go ahead and talk about our positive affirmation of the day, which is I am an amazing person. You are an amazing person. Look in the mirror, say it to yourself, repeat that when you don't, you're not feeling your best. You always can say, I am an amazing person and you need to believe it and just repeat it and maybe let any of your family know how amazing they are and how amazing you are and don't forget that and stay strong and I hope to see you guys soon and our next amazing art class. Okay, so stay tuned and don't forget, you are an amazing person. And to repeat that to yourself, I am an amazing person. Okay, you guys have a great day and please do more research on amazing mythical creatures and show me your work. I would love to see it. Okay, bye you guys. See you soon.